Senator Jim DeMint of South Carolina endorsed Rand Paul as a Republican candidate for Senate in Kentucky, despite Paul's opponent being endorsed by most of the rest of the Republican establishment. I interviewed Dr. Paul last week about his misgivings about the Civil Rights Act of 1964 stopping businesses from discriminating on the basis of race. Senator DeMint responded to the ensuing controversy by declaring that the real problem in this whole controversy is me. Rand Paul is a good candidate. Unfortunately, he made a mistake of going on a gotcha station uh, where they're not really interested in what he thinks or what he might be voting on in the future. Uh, they're just trying to find uh, some chink in the armor that they can go after. Uh, Rand Paul supports the Civil Rights Act. Uh, he has been very clear about that, and he made the mistake of, of thinking that um, Rachel, uh, Rachel uh, whatever her name is, uh, really wanted to uh, understand uh, a, a particular point that he was making that I think was really unrelated to the civil rights bill. But you know, I spent 20 minutes asking the man the same question, <laughs> trying to get him to answer it for 20 straight minutes. I am not sure how a person demonstrates more of a desire to understand something than by asking the same thing <laughs> over and over again for 20 minutes. <laughs> but hey, you know, if you got to blame somebody, right? The other major Republican figure to endorse Rand Paul against his Republican opponent in Kentucky was former Governor Sarah Palin of Alaska. She has also decided that the real cause of the Civil Rights Act controversy isn't Dr. Paul's views, it's me. When Rand Paul had anticipated that he'd be able to engage in a discussion, he being a libertarian-leaning constitutional conservative, being able to engage in a discussion with a TV character, a media personality who perhaps had an agenda in asking the question and then interpreting his answer the way that she did. Um, he wanted to talk about evidently some hypotheticals as it applies to impacts on the, the Civil Rights Act as it impacts our Constitution. So he was given the opportunity finally to clarify and unequivocally he, he has stated that he supports the Civil Rights Act. Don't assume that you can engage in a hypothetical discussion about constitutional impacts with a reporter or a media personality who has an agenda, who may be prejudiced before they even get into the interview in regards to what your answer may be. I understand the political desire to blame the questioner and not the answerer when the answers prove upsetting. But if you're going to try to make me the story, if you're more interested in talking about me than you are in talking about your own candidate, then maybe you guys should be willing to talk to me yourself instead of just talking about me. Come on. Ask Dr. Paul if I'm a fair interviewer. Ask anybody who's been on the show if you will get a fair chance to say your piece without getting interrupted. Come on. Don't be afraid. Come on.